Hey guys, it's Jake here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on the Pentax XG1. So, let's just jump right into it. So, first what I want to say about this camera is it does not have an interchangeable lens. Uh, it's not a DSLR, but it is still a DSLR type, as you can see right here. Definitely related to a DSLR, but not having the interchangeable lens makes it so you don't have to deal with the dust factor under your lens whenever you change it. So, and otherwise the lens is also incredibly good. It is a 52 times zoom lens. It has 16 megapixels, I believe. And I could just show you guys real quick what the zoom looks like on this thing. $175. Now, of course, that is what it was at the store that I bought this. It could be more at whatever store you buy, or maybe even less. Um, but the reason that it's so cheap is because Pentax bought Rego. And you see Pentax right there? It bought Rego. So it's re. It's like. repackaging all its products. Not exactly sure, but yeah. So, I want to go over the quality of the video. So, it's basically the exact same as if you guys have ever had an iPod Touch 5th Gen. It is pretty much the exact same as that. Uh, the iPod Touch 5th Gen, it can record 720p60, 720p30, and 1080p30, but no 1080p60. Uh, it's the same as that, except for the fact that... Is it echoey guys? I think it's echoey. This thing has an incredible zoom and 16 megapixels. It makes it look way more crisp and it doesn't nearly look as bad as the other. As what this is recording on right now. This is 1080p30. What you guys are seeing through the iPod? Alright. Picture in picture. Alright. That's the iPod, right? And this is the Pentax. Alright, so, okay, so here we are looking at the screen of it. So, there's a bunch of buttons over here. You will learn after you get this camera. If you're looking to buy it, after you buy it, you will learn what all these buttons do. So, we're going to focus on the main menu button. So, down here, if my camera would focus, oh, oh, what? You can see it for like a split second. <laughs> okay, 1080p30, this one's 720p60. 720p30, and then this one, I would never record in, right here. See how it says 480p30? Terrible. Never record in 480 Unless, of course, it is your only option and it's your best option, which then, that is not a problem. Um, but if you can go to 720p30, do it, please, it looks way more crisp. And if you can go to 1080, but you choose 480, yo, if you choose 480, but you can go to 1080, I'm just going to be mad at you. But here we are. So this is, um, you can see it says, ah, focus. Okay, so you can see these little boxes in the center of the selection that says DVD. In the center of this, HD, HD, uh, and then FHD. Alright, so over here, this is DVD. 120 FPS. So 120 FPS, that is, it's basically just built for slow motion. In fact, after you record a video in slow motion, it will already display it back to you in slow mo. Uh, the reason I keep on swapping is because the screen does tend to have like a sleep timer. So, gotta keep on pressing buttons. Alright, so this is, it's a high speed movie. Uh, if you could. If you could honestly read that, then that would be amazing. But, looks like you can't. Or actually, you know what? Here's a clip from my XG1 test video. Captain Jack Sparrow. Alright, so yeah, that was using this high-speed movie. 
So, um, this, I'm pretty sure this is just a motion blur. And it's just a fairly good camera in general. You can see a 52 times zoom on that side. Nothing much on this side. Um, uh, oh, something that's really ni nice to have is um, when you are on, say, just like manual picture mode, right? Actually, hold on. Let's go to auto. So, as you can see, when you take a photo, you hold down that. A little DSLR thing pops up to take the flash, right? And if you want to record a video, and you need to get to the video option really quick, but you don't have time to scroll to it and wait for it to change, bam. This camera has got you covered. I believe it is whatever whatever you have hold on so if you go back to the camera option it is whatever option you had on last so that's high speed movie so 1080p 30 right so now if we go back to auto and we press that bam it's starting to record in 1080p 30 that is what I like about this camera there are many things that about that are about this camera that most cameras do not have that is definitely one of the things so if you're looking for a camera under two hundred dollars this is definitely an amazing buy I really love this camera this thing is just, it's just golden it's so good Pentax remember Rico bought Pentax that's why it's so cheap um buy these while you can because they're not gonna last forever they're gonna get rebranded that's that's the word I was looking for not reboxed I don't think they might be doing that too but rebranded that's what they're doing right now and here are the little straps the strap holes and yeah that's pretty much it there's also a cover like a cap to this lens but you know I don't have it with me and that's pretty much it so yeah if you are oh wait oh it's not it you're recording right you want to get it in the viewfinder bam EVF <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to show you that but yeah otherwise this this is an extremely good camera for under two hundred dollars like I said it's it's about hundred and seventy five dollars uh, from where I got it which is out of this world in Mendocino uh, not sponsored not not being paid to say that but yeah I would recommend going to that store and like if you're in Mendocino you're looking for some video products go to that store it's a really good store but yeah that is pretty much it hopefully you have enjoyed this video guys oh geez. okay I remember that like come subscribe and I will see you next time